Hey everybody, welcome back to EOS Marketplace News. I'm Riz and I'm here to bring you up to date with the latest EOS currency news. So guys, um, as promised, I'll be making you a video about the, uh, the, the articles and the news that we have included in our daily newsletter issue for today. So we will be talking about... Uh, let me just pull them up for you. Um, Sony launching a blockchain digital content rights management solution. Of course, about cryptocurrency loans company Genesis processing $550 million in the first six months of their business. And the Gates Foundation partnering with former Ripple CDOs, a blockchain project sounds big all right so guys all of these news are brought to us by pcn.today and preferredcurrency.news so for those of you who are not yet subscribers to our newsletter go ahead and check us out at preferredcurrency.news and look for the paypal icon where you, uh, which you can use to pay for a monthly recurring of 15 dollars per month fiat or you can even use the coinbase option below uh, um, for 180 dollars for an annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto coins now not just you'll go You'll get not only news, but you'll get a lot of great stuff when you are a subscriber to our newsletter, such as um, websites where you can uh, get alerts about your EOS transactions, places where you can um, advertise your proper, uh, proper, properties, items, or services that you would like to have to up for sale or for rent in exchange for EOS tokens, which are uh, very accessible and free uh, platforms so go ahead and check us out now at preferredcurrency.news lots of great stuff in our newsletter so check us out all right so again going back to the articles that we have with our newsletter for today sony launches blockchain digital content rights management solution now, Sony, uh, Sony Corpor uh, Corporation, which is a Japanese multinational conglomerate made up of Sony Music Entertainment Incorporated, Sony Global Education, and several other businesses, has announced the creation of its Distributed Ledger Technology, or DLT, based rights management system for digital content to enhance the sharing, authentication, management, and processing of all rights-related digital content according to a press release on October 15, 2018. The technology giant has reportedly developed a blockchain-powered digital rights management platform that will make it difficult for people's intellectual properties, films, and other digital materials to get falsified by rogue actors. Sony claims its new solution is based on its existing system for authenticating, sharing, and rights management of educational data and processing of rights related data and the significance difference being the fact that the new system leverages blockchain technology to make recorded information unfalsifiable per the press release the new dlt system is specially crafted for the management of re uh, rights related information of written works in records to the date uh, in records the date time and other vital information of intellectual property in a temper proof manner making it easy for authorized persons to share and verify when a piece of electronic data was created and by whom most importantly sony hopes its blockchain based rights management system will gain mass adoption and as the system can only be used to manage a vast array of digital content including virtual uh, virtual reality content music ebooks electronic textbooks and other educational materials and while a vast array of forward-thinking companies such as IBM, Oracle, and others are blazing the trail in the DLT ecosystem, developing highly functional blockchain solutions aim. All right, so guys, that is all about Sony launching the blockchain digital content right management solution. Do you guys uh, do you guys think this will be um, a very effective way in? Uh, uh, protecting uh, the people's uh, 
prop uh, intellectual properties let us know in the comment section below now going on to our next news cryptocurrency loans company genesis processes 550 million dollars in the first six months institutional cryptocurrency over the counter or a OTC broker Genesis Global Trading revealed its loans spin-off processed over a half billion dollars in its first six months in a new report Thursday, October 18th. Genesis, which began its digital asset lending activities in March, revealed that its current uh, order book consists of $130 million in outstanding loans, a figure which has steadily grown since inception, it says. Total cash flow reached $553 million for all supported assets. In a quote, the company summarized about its motivation to move into the loans market and quote, over the past year, through client feedback and the rise of derivative uh, marketplaces, we saw a meaningful increase in the number of market participants wanting to borrow and or lend digital currencies, unquote. Trends over its uh, first half of a year's trading consist of reduction in Ethereum, uh, Ethereum loans, and the rise of popularity of loans and other altcoin assets in quarter three, with Bitcoin staying consistent throughout. Specifically, Litecoin, Ripple, Ethereum Classic, and Bitcoin Cash all drew higher demand while support constrained, driving rates on most alternative assets higher. And quote, the report continues. The type of client using the platform has also changed over time, with hedge funds dominating at the first, but since giving way to the trading and arbitrage uh, firms. So what about you guys? Are you interested in getting a cryptocurrency loan from Genesis? Let us know in the comment section below. And finally, Gates Foundation partners with former Ripple CEO's blockchain project. Now, the Bill, uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has partnered with blockchain startup Coil as part of its mission to provide payment services for the unbanked. The news comes via a tweet from Miller Abel, the foundation's deputy director and principal technologist, on October 17th. Abel indicated that the organization and Coil will work together to implement the Interledger protocol and explore ways to support the pro poor payment system. Interledger is an inter, uh, interoperability protocol that allows payments across different crypto networks. The technology was initially co-developed by former Ripple CTO Stefan Thomas, uh, while Stefan Thomas, while he was still with the distributed ledger. Uh, payments firm the same tech now being used as the basis of coil which Thomas found earlier this year as coindesk reported while further details on the new partnership are thus far sparse abel also mentioned ripple in its tweets yesterday uh, the gates foundation announced its partnership with ripple in october last year when the two released an open source software called mojo loop also focused on payment services to the poor and the unbanked yesterday's development appears to indicate that the gates foundation will work with coil alongside ripple to further develop the mojo loop platform which uses interledger technology and con uh, connects the different parties in the payment system to facilitate real-time transactions. All right, so guys, do you think this is a very smart move um, from the Gates Foundation? Let us know in the comment section below. And guys, those are the news that we have included in our daily newsletter from preferredcurrency.news. And guys, I strongly suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to our newsletter to get the latest out of your uh, favorite uh, cryptocurrencies and blockchain projects so guys that's all for today if you haven't been so, uh, if you are not yet a subscriber to our YouTube channel don't forget to do so and give this video a like and I will see you all in my next videos about more interesting topics I'll see you soon bye